What's going on everybody? Welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. My name is Chris. I hope you're doing well. I finally got some chance to do a little bit of vlogging. So this vlogging right here is the top five reasons why I love the 2015 Street Glide. Here we go. Very first reason, cost. Not a cheap bike, that's for sure. But because of the Milwaukee engine that came out a few years back, I can't remember when, this 103 became the stepchild of the Milwaukee, in my opinion now, okay? Uh, and the Milwaukee engines that comes in the new Street Glide, the 114, are very, these things are expensive. I think out of the door with everything that you want on is about $30,000. You can buy a 2015, 17, I think, uh, for around between 15 to 19 grand, right? Uh, so cost is the very first thing. If you want a badass Harley Davidson that has everything you need, mind you, everybody wants a street loud nowadays but can't afford it then a used bike like a 2015 street glide will be the one for you Next reason, I know you're not gonna like this. It's a Harley Davidson, guys. Well known brand all throughout the world. That's all I can say. Now, I've owned Hondas, Kawasaki's, Yamaha's, all kinds of bikes. Nothing like a Harley Davidson. So, the name, the name, Harley Davidson. <laughs> send uh, hate mails and comments negatively on the word reliability and Harley Davidson guys get over it Harley Davidson has been a good bike for over three decades I would say right um, the 88 twins the uh, 103 the Rushmore projects now the Milwaukee engine they are up to par with many motorcycles. I understand, you know, most of their bikes are air-cooled, uh, but that is Harley-Davidson. The heart of the Harley-Davidson is the V-twin motor, air-cooled motor. Uh, most of these bikes go over 100, I personally, I've personally witnessed, go over 100,000 miles easy, with no issues at all, nothing to be changed, runs good, feels good, looks good, always going to be a classic. Another reason why I love the Street Glide and the Harley Davidson. Another reason for the uh, liking of the 2015 Street Glide for me is the workability, guys. You know, as a uh, mechanic or as a builder, I love the way they design the motors. You know, it being air cooled and all, just less distractions, if you know what I'm talking about. I know a lot of people probably complain about the new technology on the Harley Davidson, but I can tell you they're reliable, in my opinion. Uh, 
oil changes, you know, crankcase, oil changes, things like that are easy to do and there's thousands of ways to do it. If you buy a service manual, it tells you exactly what to do on everything that you want to do with this bike. All you have to do is be willing to learn. Fourth reason why I love the 2015 Street Glide, it is not quite an old man bike, in my opinion. <laughs> I know most of you are probably going to argue that because of the bat fairing, uh, but historically, yes, the Ultra Glide or the Ultra Special are based on Harley Davidson Street Glide if you strip it, but there are a lot of differences in the past. I think only recently where it's close to the street glide as possible, but and that's why the Mount Rushmore project started the street glide because there's a lot of demand for a stripped out version of a bagger instead of it straight to be an old man's bike. You know what I mean? So it is not quite an old man's bike. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little bit of an old man ish. I'm 48 years old, but you know, I think I'm in my prime. So, if I have a choice between an Ultra and a Street Glide, then I would take the Street Glide. That's why I have the Street Glide. So, because it's just not that old. You know what I mean? Would I have a um, change of mind down the road if I wanted additional bags and a passenger on my bike? Maybe. Then I can upgrade, right? In the meantime, that's what I got, and that's why the 2015 Street Glide, for me, is not quite an old man's bike. Lastly, it's the cruiser that's closest to a sports bike. Uh, you know I have a sports bike before and as far as handling, as far as it being taken to curves, this is the closest that I've gotten to a sports bike. It's not quite a sports bike but I can tell you it'll probably keep up with the sports bike. The lean angle, the way it behaves on the road, the way it behaves on the curves. It is much more like a sport bike. You don't sit like a sport bike, but you can lean it. It will bite. You can really get down to it, push the handlebars, and it will get down and down and down. Um, with the additional torque that it provides, it really does stabilize the suspension, stabilize the whole bike on turn. So that's probably the last reason why I love the 2015 Street Glide. Now, there are many more other reasons I can come up with and maybe for another video, but for now, I just kind of wanted to talk to you on why I have 2015 Street Glide in 2021 where there's availabilities of the Milwaukee motor. I don't have any experience with the Milwaukee motor. I also don't have $30,000 to spend on a new CVO or on a new Street Glide, but that's what I have and that's what I'm gonna drive. I love all kinds of bikes, as again, I'm not telling you to go out and buy a 2015 Street Glide, but highly consider that Harley Davidson has already progressed and probably is the most successful motorcycle uh, company, American motorcycle company in the world, arguably, right? I know most of you will, will disagree with me. There are some hardcore Indian um, fans out there, hardcore BMW fans. I'm a hardcore Harley Davidson fan. And I, like I said before, I own other brands, but this is, I think, the ultimate persona bike for me. And it is for a lot of people. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will try and upload videos twice a week in this channel, mostly men's lifestyle, lifestyle, Mostly men's lifestyle, style, grooming, 
of course, guys, my Harley Davidson and my projects, my early Broncos. Until next time, aloha.